what's up my beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here I welcome you this is sister J thank you so much for stopping by if this is not your first time thank you so much for returning thank you so much for your support as you can see by the title I am making dinner I'm cooking Creole fish with tossed salad and some rice and gungu peas otherwise rice and pigeon peas yes come along with me let I show you how I make this delicious dinner sister Jay's way sister Jay's version and sister Jay's style Here's a rundown of my seasoning for the fish. Right here is the fish seasoning, all bay seasoning, black pepper, Creole seasoning, crushed garlic, and pimento. I'm gonna combine all this to make a rub. Now I'm going to put some vinegar in. Just mix it all together. So now I'm going to season the fish. I'm just going to put them right here. So I, after cleaning up the fish and cutting off all the fin, I slice it right here on both sides. So I can put some of the seasoning in it and also when it is cooking so it can cook all the way through. So now I'm going to put my hand on this because it's not like I'm going to use it to do anything else. I'm going to use all of it to season this fish, okay? I season the fish inside out and to do this Creole fish I have to fry it first and then I'm gonna make a sauce It's something similar to the brown stew fish it's just different process I mean some of the items are different
Now I have all the fish seasoned, so I'm gonna set this aside and then continue with the process. So here I have the oil on the fire heating up. So here I have the oil. Here I have the oil on the fire to start frying the fish. And here I have some garlic. I'm gonna be putting in the oil. So it's time to put the fish in. ingredients for my Creole sauce. Here I have some Creole sauce. Creole seasoning. I have some fish stock. You can make your own fish stock or you can buy the fish stock at the store. Here I have some dried tomato. This is what it looks like. I have some chili powder right here, some black pepper, some minced garlic, a sorted bell pepper, some onion, already sliced them up, scallion and thyme, and I have some fresh tomato. If you know about Creole sauce, the main ingredients in the Creole sauce is the tomato. Some people use tomato paste, some people use ketchup. So I'm using the dried tomato and the fresh tomato, okay? I'm gonna pour a small portion of oil in the pot. Now I'm gonna put the garlic in. Then I'm gonna have some clear sauce. And I'm gonna mix it all in. Now I'm gonna have the tomato. So that's the fresh tomato and the dry tomato. And the fish stock. I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer down for seven minutes and then we'll continue with the process. Now look at that guys. See this the dry tomato right here. It expands from the liquid. So now I'm going to add some Creole seasoning. Mix that all in. And this is some chili pepper. And some black pepper. For this recipe, we're not gonna use scotch bunny pepper for this. We use chili pepper. So guys, because we use so much tomato, we're gonna use like a tablespoon of brown sugar to cut that acid down.
Now I'm adding my assorted bell pepper. And then my skeleton and thyme. So guys, I'm gonna cover this down. I'm gonna turn this stove down and low heat and I'm gonna cook it down for the next 10 minutes. And when I come back, we'll have some Creole sauce. Okay guys, so it's been 10 minutes, so now it's time to add the fish in. So I'm going to let it cook on one side for 5 minutes and then I'm going to flip it over. It's been 5 minutes, so I'm going to flip the fish over. So here are the ingredients for my rice and peas. Of course, I have my peas on the fire with the coconut milk and the garlic. So now I have some fresh scallion and thyme right here. I have some pimento. Pimento is one of Jamaican spice, which we always put in our food. Most of what we cook, we put pimento in it. Tastes real good, guys. Okay, so this is some all-purpose seasoning and this is a scotch bonnet pepper and this is some butter. Normally you'd put some salt if you are a person that use salt in your cooking. If you've been following me for some time, you know that I seldomly use salt unless it really calls for salt. I don't use salt. Okay, I limit my salt intake. So this food will not be using any salt in it except for the salt that's in the seasoning. So now I'm going to put the butter in. I'm using a tablespoon of butter. And this butter I'm using is the vegan butter. But you can use the butter of your choice if you decide to cook this rice and bean. Or rice and peas. Now I'm going to put the pimento in all-purpose seasoning skeleton and thyme and my scotch bonnet pepper I'm just gonna stir this the peas is almost cooked okay because this is the green pigeon peas I'm using we call it gung peas in Jamaica here in United States, we call it pigeon peas. Here I have three cups of rice. Now I'm gonna wash the rice. And I'm gonna wash this rice three times. Bring the water and then add it to the peas. So now it's time to put the rice in the Turn it around. My stove is a medium eye. And I'm going to put it. Okay, guys, it's time to check on my rice and peas. 
so here is my rice and peas that so you know I just stir up this section here with you know the peas is on one side here so you just mix it all in together yes guys so this is exactly what I'm looking for with my gungu rice and peas otherwise known as pigeon peas yes God, this smells so good. I can smell the coconut in it. Yes, guys. So, yeah, this is, yeah, this is the rice and peas. Yes, Sister Jay's way. Do you have it, my beautiful people? My dinner is ready. For my protein, I have some Creole fish. And for my staple, I have some rice and pigeon peas, otherwise called gungu peas. And for my vegetables, I have tomato, cucumber, lettuce, bell pepper, and some cranberry. Every time when you cook all my finger, my bite Food delicious, me have to do it every time Share with my friend, them comment Like, Sister J, real top chef that a fuck Chop, 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 chop Chop the potato, chop the carrot Holy pass spice of it day in the